Well, good morning, folks. <clears throat> I seem to have a, quite a collection of photographs that I've taken over the years. Uh, usually I try to print some in the 13 by 19, all those Vermont landscapes. And I thought maybe today I'd just show you a few of the ones I had. I hope you can see this all right. It's hard to figure out the glare and stuff in here. Forgive the fat belly sticking over the chair and my shorts, but here we go. Let me pull in a little bit. Uh, here's another one of the scenery of Vermont landscape. Looks like towards your foliage season. Now I'll just move right through these and this is the mountain with the fog on the top there. It's a lovely old farm. I think that's up on Cody Hill Road. I'm looking at these upside down, so. Let's see what else you can see in there. Well, nice spruce tree there. Another fall scene. Looks a little bit cloudy up on the mountains there. I ain't saying much, I'll just let the pictures speak for themselves. And this is a Beautiful fall foliage picture. Love these maples when they pop. Oh, they are very, very beautiful. I don't print a lot of these because you know the uh, <coughs> Canon Pro takes about 10 cartridges, and any of you that print any of your better prints uh, know how much that costs. So I try not to print too many, just the ones I like the most. But I do print smaller ones on a lower. Uh, Canon that uh, suffices and I keep them in a but uh, uh, 11 by 12 or 12 by 12 or something like that there is another beautiful fall foliage picture the reds the oranges the yellows the browns with the birches over here on the side a lot of beautiful scenery out here in Vermont, year-round actually. I like taking the photos in the winter, spring, summer, mud season, you name it, I'm usually out there. Getting a little harder for me to get around, but I manage. That's another beautiful foliage picture. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. Beautiful, the, how it's blended in the greens, the dark greens, the light greens. <clears throat> and up here, they're just some of them are just starting to turn. Depends on the area up here, you know, and it's who gets the cold snaps first. And using the southern part of the state, it turns quicker than the northern part. Some of them Sterling Mountains. This one I got to turn around so you can see it the right way. So spruce tree, foliage in the back. Oh, lovely. That one I don't know what they printed that for. This one's one of my favorites too. These beautiful maple trees. And this little barn house up here. It's actually a house, but it's got a little cupola on the top so they can go up in there and look at the foliage and stuff right from their house. They got a porch overhanging in the front. That's up on uh, Upper French Hill Road in Johnson. Oh yeah, I got plenty more, don't go away. Gotta get them in. There's a winter scene with spruce trees and some hardwood, some nice clouds. There we go with some beautiful reflections. amazing when you take them on the water like that, how they come out. Beautiful clouds. Another 
one on the pond. You don't know whether it's right side up or bottom side down <laughs> with water there, do you? Turn this one around. Some beautiful clouds. Little darker clouds there. This is up on Lake Eden. Yeah. Beautiful clouds, blue water. Very nice place to visit up there if you get a chance. They even have a campground up there. You can park there. If you pay them a little money, they let you spend the night. Turn this one around. Some more summer shots. Burn back here. Some more beautiful clouds. Some of these are mounted and some aren't. There's another beautiful foliage picture. Derry Sheehy's house over there. So it's beautiful. Beautiful colors. Lovely spot. Here's another one. It's another nice foliage shot. Now, trying to figure out which way this goes. It goes this way. Got it the right way. Another one of our ponds. This one's up toward, uh, what is the name of that? Uh, Woodbury is what I'm trying to say. Also beautiful reflections. Actually goes this way. The way I'm looking at it would be upright this way. If you turn it around this way, this is the actually the bottom. You're getting a reflection off from the lake. More to come. Hay storage. Barn there with snow and round bales. This one's actually down in Stowe, and they used to make horse uh, snowshoes down here at that factory. Uh, they called them bear paw snowshoes. They were a good snowshoe, and uh, of course, uh, a lot of people uh, just don't do that sport anymore. But they made some wonderful. Uh, snowshoes yep. what we got here oh another looks like a cold day out there on that one it's beautiful this one's up on Bates Hill I love the clouds in that one beautiful spot When I'm up on Clay Hill. Another nice spot. Where's our famous ski area down there in Stowe? Pretty nice place. clouds on the mountain again look at those clouds 
clouds. Beautiful. Actually, you can see the railroad tracks going along the bottom. Well, that's a beautiful picture, too. A little bit more in the fall. And there's some more nice, beautiful Vermont clouds. Probably leave these all to my grandkids someday. They're interested in them. Stone Mountain. Nice back road photo, isn't it? Like how the dirt streaks along with the snow and the white, the trees, the sharpness of it. Telephone lines going along the road. <coughs> I think we got power up here, uh, this is the Barnes house. I think my grandmother got it in her house in 1968 when she first got power. But a lot of them didn't have power back then. Another nice foliage picture right there. I have to look at this one and see which way it goes. scary dam I'll tell you that water sometimes come down through there and made the worst roar you ever heard in your life well, here's another one it's a little dark clouds that day I see beauty in just about everything you know where some people say well they didn't like that well it's all how you look at it you know Something ugly is beautiful to me, but ugly to others, but it's all in your taste, but take time to look, you know, red and spruce, it's maple actually there, nice little foliage picture there. You can always tell the chilliness of Vermont, you can see the, the Water is starting to freeze over everywhere. That's an old powerhouse. Used to get electricity from there, from that water. I tore it down here a couple years ago. What's this one here? Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Beautiful mountains. Oh yeah. I put these on foam boards. You know, they're kind of expensive to do I think they average about five dollars a piece and of course but they come with a self sticking on it and then you have to roll this down make sure you don't get any creases in it sometimes you get you got to be real careful with it because if you get a little crease in it you can't get it out once you put it down there but it, it's pretty sturdy well there dog's head falls people up there playing on a rock. I'd stay away from the edges, you know, at my age I don't probably swim as good as I used to, so I just don't climb out that far. And of course, uh, this here is the dog's head. It kind of looks like a dog's head, don't it? Oh, this is the old uh, Scribner covered bridge up on the Rocky Road in Johnson. They had the water come down and did some damage to it, but it's all repaired now. That's the old farm behind it. They used to farm that years ago. Now it's kind of a, an empty building. Make somebody a great home. Hmm. 
nighttime. Beautiful clouds, aren't they? Sun setting there. Still see pretty good along the edges. Oh, I like this one too. The old maple sitting by the gate. Snow and the clouds on the top. Beautiful. I'm probably boring you right to death, but I only got a few more <laughs> to show you. That's another beautiful sunset. They're all out there, you just gotta get out there and look at them. They're down there in the Louis, uh, uh greenhouse. And the mountains up behind it. Let's see, I think I got another one down here if I can reach it. Some more snow. We got plenty of that. We're supposed to get another, oh I don't know, they said 12 to 18 inches this weekend. I have to get the snow blower out, I guess. Well, I bored you long enough, and uh, I'll let you go, but I hope you enjoyed looking at these as much as I enjoy looking at them. I put them on the wall, and I rotate them out every once in a while, so I have different scenery to look at when I walk toward the bathroom in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful thing to look at. Well, anyway, you folks have a great day, and I'll catch you sometime along, you know. Thank you for looking at it anyway. Bye now.